so you can see that from the previous step you are able to found out that resistance was 330 ohm i'll take this as r1 or i'll take this as r so we found that from the previous step we found that resistance r is equal to 330 ohm now they are saying that wire p has a diameter d and length l which is nothing but meaning this resistance that is like the resistance present in this wire is wire p actually it has diameter d and length l so we know that a resistance formula r is equal to rho l by a rho means density it symbol is like this so r is equal to rho l by a rho is density l is length and a is cross sectional area cross sectional area of a wire is obviously a circle that is like in a wire when you take the cross cross sectional area it will be obviously a circle so area of circle is pi r square but we know r is equal to diameter by 2 so i can write it as pi into d by 2 the whole square i can write it as pi d square by 4 so this formula gets changed as rho l by pi d square by 4 i'll take this as 1 now they are saying there is another wire q that is also same material as p p and uh, wire p and wire q has same material but diameter is 0.5 of d that is like diameter of q is 0.5 of d i'll take it as d dash for q 0.5 of d and the length is 5 times l dash for q i'll take it as l dash 5 times of length of p we know r dash for q as rho that is also rho only because the thing is like they are made up of same material so the density will be same rho into l dash by a dash i can again write this rho into l dash by same substituting like this pi d dash square by 4 now we know what is d dash and l dash i am substituting it rho into instead of l phi l by pi into d dash square will be 0.5 d the whole square by 4 i can again write this as phi i'll take it to the front phi rho l 0.5 the whole square na it will be like 0.25 d square 0.25 take it to the front and pi d square by 4 i can again repeat this step can be changed as rho phi l by pi 0.5 d the whole square so 0.5 square is 0.25 by into d square by 4 so the 0.25 take it to the front and phi also i keep it to the front so obviously you can see that this rho l by pi d square by 4 is obviously resistance r so i can write it as phi by 0.25 into resistance r mm i can write phi by 0.25 as phi by 25 by 100 the point of phase 25 by 100 100 goes to the top 25 and 25 24 so 100 so phi into first 20 so obviously it is 20 20 into r so 20 r so what is r actually 330 na so 20 into 330 it is 6600 ohm this is the value of resistance in wire q hope you could understand the question now if you have any doubts do let me know